All uh, right. Just like everything with computers, you just have to unplug something and plug it in. Have you ever watched the IT crowd? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a great show. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's all right. I have time out to get here. Let's figure out how to get here. Have you not been here before? I've never been in here before. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's a brand. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Y
Okay. Oh, so we want to kind of record the conference. Yeah. All right. Just seeing if I could be heard here. Okay. Oh. Yeah, just leave yourself in there. All right. Nice. This will be a little bit easier to see. Okay, I'm going to open up my agenda. Okay, let's see. We have me, Florian, Tim, Nola, Melissa, Al, and Michael. Nice. Good. What a what a turnout, everyone. The recording already started because the Zoom meeting was set to auto record. So that's taken care of. <laughs> uh, let's start the meeting. Uh, Melissa, you're good for notes, right? I assume you've taken them like as you go back something. Um, we got started late. We're not gonna do a relational check in, sorry. <laughs> um, uh, let's talk about the date and time for the next meeting. Everybody, yeah, uh, rev up your calendars, everyone. I'm away from the 14th to the 30th, so we could do before that. Okay, well, the second Tuesday would be the 11th of April, so that would be before you peace out. Um, I know. How do other people do? I would not be able to count on them. Is this all the game? Or is it, is it, or is it a game? It's a real game. Oh, it's a real game. I thought you were going to play. Because we didn't know the sport now. Oh, no. Well, I can do the 11th. Okay. I'm not flexing on the sport. Okay. I will. Okay. So we've got. I can do the 11th. Okay. Or do you want to zoom in later? Yeah, I might be able to like zoom in like that. Yeah. If we're doing six, I might. That'd be cool. Um, I'm sorry, Michael. Did you say something? Yeah, I was saying I could I can do the eleventh as well if that's the date. Okay. Yeah, I think that would probably be good then since Al is going on vacation. Oh, Are you going on vacation? I am. That's nice. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's a nice time to go. I'm turning 50, so I'm taking a couple weeks off. Oh, the midlife oh, crisis vacation. Wow. Yeah, that's <laughs> but that's good. Yeah, good time. Um, okay, cool. So we'll plan uh, for the 11th. I'm sorry, now, when did you say you were getting back? Um, the 30th. The 30th. Okay, so we're probably going to do the 11th or probably the 11th. It'll probably end up being. Um, I don't know if there's a good like safety date, unless we wanted to do like the fourth as that, but uh, right. Um, right? It's too soon. Uh, okay, cool. Um, let's talk about the minutes from last meeting. Oh wow, did you um have forgot to ask you? Did you bring up your directory report and minutes and stuff on the computer? Um, I've sent the link out to them. Okay. Because um, I don't know if, like, with the director's report, report, if you want to share screen or anything. I can, I think I can screen share on this. Um, unless you logged into a different email account, well, you probably didn't. Need to. We can screen share on this. Oh, yeah, I did not. I just logged into Zoom, but I can check the email. Um, but okay, so that's good that we've got that ready to go. Um, is there any, should, should, oh, should we review uh, last month's minutes 
for people or just do what it means to improve the time. Because I think, well, Michael wasn't around, but I think somebody else was around. Right. Oh, oh, maybe it was. The minutes are Are those the minutes? Oh, I was going to say, Melissa put the link in the chat, so I was just looking at them. Uh, let's see. Last time at the meeting, we had a great director's report with a lot of great stuff in it. Um, we had Jeremy who did the high school report. Um, let's see. We talked about the budget and we approved that. That was a big deal. And uh, we talked about uh, board recruitment for the subcommittee for that. Um, and we talk about accountability of processes and at minimum standards. Um, so those are the broad strokes, what last meeting entailed. Um, does anyone want to look over or revisit anything in detail from last meeting minutes? <laughs> um, okay, so uh, can we get a motion to approve that? The motion. Okay. Yeah, sec second. second. <laughs> All of those in favor of approving last month's minutes. Who, uh, say who, who motioned? Tim. Tim. Florian seconded. These are better than most of the school committee ones. Oh. <laughs> I'm impressed. Uh, well, what's the note that she's doing? Anyway, that passes because I think pretty much everyone said I or I saw hands raised. So it sounded good. Um, okay. So we have approved those minutes. Um, up next, we have the director's report. Okay, so um, here's what's been going on in the last month or so. We submitted our budget in the first quarter of the report for our ARPA funding. Um, today it was due by the end of this month, um, or at least the, the initial budget was on our first quarter reporting, which is ending in a couple of days. Uh, nothing's happened, it's, it's due in two weeks, but we submitted both of those. Um, the city will look over that budget. Um, it's pretty straightforward for us because nothing, we had a pretty thorough budget uh, when we applied for the ARPA funding, uh, it was very solid numbers. And so when we push that forward, the city will take a look at it and then uh, we'll see if everything's in order and come back and sign a contract with us or submit a contract to us to sign so we can start um, purchasing uh, the items that are enumerated in that grant proposal. Um, so that's in motion. Um, we're largely moved into 380 Elm Street. There's still some organizing cleanup that's in process. Uh, moving always takes a little bit longer than expected. Um, we're getting rid of a lot of older things um, and we're sort of picking through and trying to evaluate. This is a process we go through periodically, but um, we're, we're doing kind of a big throw out, throw out of stuff that we can't really use anymore. Um, and so, so that's sort of still in process. Um, we're also helping store some material here at 33 Holly Space from APE and also from the North Center, Northampton Center for the Arts. Um, it's taking up a small, a small area of the space in here. Um, just to help them out um, so they don't have to rent a storage unit. Um, we've had decent traffic since our move. We seem to have lost a group of people who are becoming regulars here, but there's some other people who are coming to, to the to the space at 380. Um, parking is still, it's, you know, it's, it's funny going back to the space. Parking is definitely an issue um, for the public, and I think it will continue to be an issue only because we only have four spots really in front of our space. So if people are bringing equipment back and forth, it can be a little difficult. We are noticing that more than we did before, um, but 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 traffic is good in general. Um, and I think I feel like people are starting to return to using us um, more and more as the months go by. So that's a that's a that's an optimistic sort of outlook. Um, I'm hoping to launch a public campaign about classes of production around May. 
to try to really push people into the space and to try to um, energize it um, after we're completely like comfortable and, and inside of it. Uh, I went to Washington DC last week to lobby members of Congress along with other constituents from around the country for what's called the CAP Act, the Cable Access Protection Act. Um, what this is, is um, in 2019, the Trump um, FCC um, issued a ruling that sort of reinterpreted the 1994 Telecommunications Act. Um, what they said was that um, cable companies could um, potentially um, credit in-kind donations against what they owed community media centers in terms of dollars. So what this means is, or what the fear is, and this has not happened yet, but the but the language would allow is the cable company to say something like, we are valuing our channel capacity at X amount of dollars, $500,000. And we're going to deduct that $500,000 from the amount that we would normally pay you in cash. That would effectively take away all of our funding if they would choose to do that. The cable company has not chosen to do that, um, but the FCC opened the door to allow that to happen. And since then, um, the CAP Act was proposed um, and and it has already been through Congress once and, and did not make it through committee, but um, has been revived in this Congress. And we were in Washington, D.C., just trying to get uh, more people to sign on as, um, as sponsors of the bill. And so we talked to a number of people. Richie Neal locally looked, it was, had not been a signer on before, and it looks like his office is um, hopefully prepared to, to, to come on board. And we also had a nice gathering of people from across the country and talked about the future of community media. Um, it was about a three-day trip, and it felt pretty good. Um, and hopefully, things move forward well. Um, we're sponsoring Kids Best Fest film series. We do this every year, but it's uh, it's it's nice to note that it's something that we do. This happens during school vacation week. It's a program that's usually it's part of four Sundays, which historically took place in February, but doesn't taking place is not taking place in April. Um, it's during kids' uh, April vacation week, and there are movies at the Academy of Music all week that students can come and watch. Um, it's a lot of family-oriented programming, uh, particularly uh, targeting like middle school and younger ages. We launched the seven-day film sprint this week. Uh, last night, in fact, 19 teams signed up. You missed? I, I completely, I have no idea this is going on. <laughs> so the sprint got launched last night. You can, you can have a late sign-up if you want to take a day off. But um, we had we did launch the sprint, so it, the, the due date is next Monday. We had 19 teams, which is a pretty good turnout. Um, it's above average. Um, we had about half those teams, either in Zoom or in person, to, to see us draw combinations of prompts out of a hat. If you don't know what this is, it's a it's teams have about a week to make a two minute film, and they get sort of silly prompts about direction or character um, locations and things like that. So uh, it was a lot of fun. There are a lot of funny sort of combinations of, of prompts that came out. Uh, this year, they seemed uncannily suited for each other. And um, so teams are going to be working on that um, content. We were a little worried because there were the, you know, we, we launched the marketing about three weeks ago and, and people were slow in the first week to sign up, but a lot of people ended up doing so. So we're happy about that. We also announced our crowdsource cinema film for the year, which is Toy Story. Um, so we're going to be remaking Toy Story over the summer. It's the first time we've done an animated film and we're really excited to do an animated film. And we're also strongly encouraging people not to use animation, nothing personal, Melissa, you can do animation, but like uh, people can do animation. Um, but we're hoping that people will, will go the other route and sort of remake it into live action. Um, that's an encouragement. It's not a requirement. And, um, we're excited about that. Signups for Toy Story scenes are going to happen the day we screen the seven-day film sprint films, which will be Wednesday, April 5th at the Parlor Room. Um, another maybe important note, the, you know, the Parlor Room recently became a nonprofit organization, its own nonprofit organization. Previously, they were um, part of Signature Sounds. They still may be a subsidiary of Signature Sounds, but they are their own nonprofit. So we have a longstanding partnership with them in using their space. And we sort of had to revisit that conversation because it's a new it's a new organization, and they wanted to know what the sort of what the arrangement was with us. And um, so it was productive to touch base with them, and they reaffirmed their interest in working with us um, and utilizing that space, which we're super grateful for. Uh, it's a great place to be able to screen things. It's intimate. It's BYOB, 
um, it's easily accessible. So um, that'll happen April 5th. So get ready to sign up for crowdsourced and come see the seven day film sprint screening if you want. It's a ton of fun. What, what time is it? It's at seven o'clock on April 5th. That's a Wednesday. Also, Passover, not the best time in the month. Um, we, we shot a week-long time-lapse of a public art project in the workroom space, where the public was invited to make the floor into art before it's covered up again by new construction and new floors installed there. Um, students at PMNHS have been utilizing the studio space uh, since we moved back in as well. So some transcript stuff has been shot in there. The game show has been going in there. They're in there today as well, um, doing some shooting. We recorded another episode of the Veterans Show with Steve Connor. There have been numerous school committee meetings. Um, there's been a superintendent search going on and they're going through budget. And so um, we've been covering a lot of those and it's really accentuated the importance of of, of getting that JFK community room wired up. And we're looking forward to when that happens and it'll be uh, much easier to provide that coverage. <clears throat> um, a documentary that was shot through us and produced by Jeremy Whalen for the Young at Heart Course's 40th anniversary uh, was, was picked up by PBS New York. So this is very cool. So PBS New York is going to show the documentary on PBS New York during the month of May, which is which is senior month, I think. I can't remember what they, how they frame it, but um, they're going to be showing that that documentary piece. We're going to get a nice uh, sponsorship credit on that, along with the only other big sponsorship credit is the National Endowment of the Arts. So it's pretty high profile for us to have something like that um, in such a predominant market. Um, and we're excited to that to see that. We also submitted that for an Emmy Award. Um, so that's that's a hopeful thing uh, we have in the works as well. When was the documentation submitted? The document that it was made in the fall winter of 2022. So is it is it um a feature is it feature length? It's feature length. That's so cool. Yeah. I don't have a date or time yet, but I'll let everyone know when that is. <clears throat> it just it's just happened in the last week or so. No, no, but, oh, but... the project? Mm -hmm. It was it was covering a concert. It's set, it was a yeah, seventeen. It was like one big shoot. Oh, okay. It's a seventeen camera shoot. I think it was seventeen cameras. We took out two. It was. We had no cameras left. Yeah, there was a lot, there was a lot of <laughs> angles. Um, so, um, that's fantastic. Um, I'm going to be away as I mentioned, the fourteenth to the thirtieth this month. Um, happy birthday to me! And Dave is going to be gone at NAB. Um, which is the National Association of Broadcasters Conference. Um, we usually send one staff a year to this. It's kind of the, it's the premier technology event for our industry, the industry being film and television. And it's where they release all of the new toys. And um, it takes place in Las Vegas. It's an enormous, enormous event. And um, we usually send one staff a year. We haven't been in many years, um, probably since 2018. So Dave's going to go and... Um, you know, see all the new things that that we, we would like to buy. So <laughs> it's uh, it, yeah, it is fun. It's a little much too, but uh, but yeah, it's so so he'll be headed out to that. Group. That's it. Uh, quick question. Yeah. Where did you say this film sprint screening? The parlor room in Masonic Street, in Northampton, which signature signature sounds runs that. Yeah. Um, when do you think this like when is this film expected to go to the theater? Oh, twenty twenty four. And then are you going to start screening the stuff that you did? Uh, the parlor room. Yeah. Hopefully, okay. I. The plan. There are different rooms. So I think it depends what it is that the screening is. Right. The parlor room holds, I mean, I guess it can hold 100 people, but it's, yeah, I it's think it's 100. Like, it's tiny compared to the workroom. So I think it depends, like, we might screen crowdsource cinema in this space here. Yeah. In this space here? In the workroom here would make more sense. Yeah. 
but these spaces will be we we have had and we will have a discounted rate for renting them that's very low and also we have some barter capacity for them so we plan on utilizing them, not just for screenings but also for other things. right Um, the academy where we screen cat source is pretty expensive, right. so it will definitely, definitely be a much more reasonable alternative. Yeah, what's the, what's the capacity of upstairs gonna be once done? Of oh, downstairs, actually, oh, the downstairs. big room. Yeah. yeah, it's a good question. I don't know exactly what the capacity will be, but it will probably be in the four hundred range. Yes, pretty good. It's a large room. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we're cool to move on to, let's see, so we're going to do the high school report next. Doesn't Jeremy usually do that? Well, oh, I, I oh he, that. he did it last time because he we were here. Episode. So it's all you. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, I don't have like a ton, but I do have some stuff. Um, so we, in January, uh, we submitted to the T-Fan documentary competition, and we, I don't know, I think we found out, like, after last time's meeting, but um, we got third place for the region in the national film, um, so very exciting, um, and these two girls who are freshmen who, like, made the documentary and submitted, it's about, um, it was, the prompt was, if you were a senator, what would be your first course of action? And they talked about, and they did about domestic violence. It was written really good. Um, and PI yeah, got third place, so they get money, and I think the school gets money, possibly, I think. Um, and, or I think the transcript gets money, which is nice. Um, and yeah, very exciting. And I think people are going to soon be coming in to do like a whole award ceremony. I think they'll probably do that for that. But, <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's like, like was very big and exciting for those girls. Um, and um, a group of kids recently like shot a big film, the film production club at NHS just shot like their big film this past weekend, used a lot of non stuff. Um, and it was really, really nice to have it like right next, like just across the hall from the classroom because those kids were able to like go in and look at equipment during class time and like. I, I just know that it's like it's really nice and useful to like have that as an active space um, and it's really been benefiting a lot um, and I think I mean this is like up for debate when we want to do this but I think it would be time to maybe have you or someone to come in and talk to the class I don't know if we talked about any of that in the last meeting but um, yeah. but yeah, I later. think it would be something like maybe you and Jeremy and I could meet and talk about like what we like what you want to say or do and then you know we can help facilitate that in some way like maybe in the next month or so yeah. might be good um before like all the seniors lose their focus and like get like really out <laughs> um but uh what is the end of school and the school uh seniors are gonna leave on May twenty fourth but like all the other kids leave on fourteen um, but yeah, and then I mean, not very important, but we have like a big April Fool's episode coming out this week. Um, where like all of the segments are like doing different segments, like spoofs off of each other. So that's like something exciting and fun, but um, not yeah, we're still waiting to hear back from the student enemies and hometown media awards, but not much is like going crazy right now, but yeah, awesome. Well, oh, how can you stop screen sharing? Um, well, well uh, okay, so the board for the board recruitment subcommittee, uh, we didn't get to have the entire committee meet uh, because Jeremy's been very busy. So Nola and I met briefly. I basically just pitched the the candidate that I had pitched at our last meeting, so the rest of you, to her. Uh, and I had tried to contact some other people, but they had had available with your time, so I didn't have anyone new to add to the list. 
but you had one or two names. So if you want to keep talking, <laughs> just talk about those two people yeah. if you'd like. Uh, yeah, that'll be the so thing. Jeremy and I conversed a little bit about this. Um, the thing is, so like everyone in the transcript leadership right now, like, you know, like the leaders and people who do stuff, like myself included, is graduating at the end of this year. So it's all the new years, and we haven't really decided who the new leaders are. We do know that whoever the like non representative is, we want to also do leadership. So we have three people um, in mind. Um, Ellie Zandani, who's been working with NOM a lot already, so he already knows like how it works and how it's really good. Um, and then uh, Jane and Shira, who are the two girls who won the C SPAN award, um, they are also really great producers and very um, into film. One thing is they are like freshmen right now, so they're sophomores, so they're a little younger, which could be good, but also like they might not like not not be mature, but not like I don't know. I, they might not be as interested because they're still like learning more about stuff. But um, but yeah, but those are our like three possibilities. We have to talk to them. Really, we have to talk and figure out like whether they want to be leadership and then go into that conversation of whether they want to do that. But I have no doubt that someone, one of the three of them, will be interested. Well, well that sounds like a great tool. Does it make sense to talk in this context about the co board membership or however you want to call it? Like you had said, you have two younger girls. Yeah. If they don't feel comfortable on their own, that we open it up in a way that it's a co board position or something like that. I, I don't know. If it's I don't know if that's something that Tom does, but. Um... It's been before, but it doesn't mean it's impossible. Yeah. And then we can do whatever we want. <laughs> I mean, I can definitely talk to them. I don't know if both will be interested, but they do usually like come as a pair. Like they're like they're best friends. They do everything together. So like I would imagine that like it'd be hard to offer it to one of them and not the other. But uh, but I definitely could. I would talk with Jeffrey about it. So it's, it's unfortunate he's not at the school, but but I'll talk with him. But we're ahead of the curve. It's good, and it sounds very promising. Yeah. Cool yeah. that we have yeah. the connection. Thank you, but. Interesting. Very cool. Um, all right. So, um, oh yeah. So hopefully you and Jeremy and I will meet in the next month, and then for mm -hmm. next meeting we'll have some more stuff to talk about with this. But yeah, sounded good. Um, all right. The last thing I want. Oh, okay. we have a question. <clears throat> Just a question. I didn't know if there was um, sort of a profile for members you were looking for, or trying to think of who I might know that. Could be appropriate, like if you're looking for names or. Um... Yeah, if you want to suggest anyone, please feel free to do so. Um, and yeah, what we're looking for is, um, like Nola's handling the 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 student who would come on to sort of like take her place, right? Uh, but then J there's also going to be two elected positions that are going to open up uh, next year, start next year. So that would be Jeremy's position and Melissa's position, as I recall. Um, so we're looking for people to reach out to to ask to run in that election. Uh, but yeah, if you have any suggestions for people who you think would be interested, definitely throw them uh, our way. Uh, email me, email Al, email Jeremy, email Nola, who, you know... <laughs> Okay. Must be either Al or someone who's on the subcommittee. Would be but I think out. I think that um, like the profile is like uh, someone who might be familiar with Nom would be great, or um, or who has done some something there. It could also be someone who's like in another kind of like media. I don't know. It could be someone from another, I don't know, station or something. Someone who's interested in media. Um, we've had, who else have we had besides we've had, um, oh, we had like a while ago, we had a woman who was like a Hampshire college film professor, you know, so, so really like anyone you think who might be interested in getting involved, <clears throat> 
yeah, what kind of what kind of other breadth experience have we had on the board? We've had newspaper related people, which was cool. Yeah, we had the Hampshire, yeah, Daily Hampshire Gazette. We had oh well we had Mary Alice who was like free prat, like what exactly she was like really into her job was like free press and and things like that <laughs> i don't know uh, <laughs> that's a really good explanation so yeah that that's really helpful yeah i there's sort of you know i have like two neighbors who are filmmakers of sorts who i'm not sure if they have any relationships with nam yet and then um sort of connected to the film and media studies department at Amherst through work. So I don't know if there's folks there that might be interested. So I just wanted to get a sense of what you might be looking for before, um, you know, asking anybody or suggesting anybody, hey, think about this. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, those sound like great ideas. Uh, and a lot of what, what Melissa said, great. Um, yeah, that's pretty much our, our kind of thing. I mean, we, um, uh, let's see. What other things would be good? Um, people with event production experience is something that I've I've been thinking a lot about. I want to get some more people um, like this <laughs> on the board. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, I think that pretty much covers the the main things. So, um, all right. So, are we good to move on? Any any other comments on? Uh, uh, more board member stuff. Okay, cool. Um, so what I wanted to do was um, schedule some tentative dates for another workshop like we did Halloween, right before Halloween, something like that, the last one, uh, where we got a bunch of stuff done um, on a lot of different things, particularly the board policy document. Because I want to finish that document so that then, you know, as we're onboarding new people and everything, that document is good to go and we can use it. It'll be great. So, um, yeah, I want to do it sometime in the spring, probably May. But, um, yeah, well, like when do people have vacations? Um, when, do, when, when do people think they're going to be around? Like, Later in the spring, early in the summer. I'm complete. I'm out. I'm having a baby. Oh, that's important, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I I I don't imagine that like a week after having the baby that I'll I'll come to a board retreat. You know, I'm, I'm thinking that that's not so good. But I'll be well, thinking of you all. Well, I probably won't be actually. Probably be like sleepy and everything like that. Okay. Go on without me. Fresh blood here. Yeah, that baby I'll just I'll just bring her for you all to take care of, and I'll... <laughs> I don't think I have seen a minimum age for the board membership. <laughs> oh, okay. And while I was just, I don't know if there's any requirement. Yeah, because we put pamphlets in the May is good on my end. June is terrible on my end. So. The week of the 22nd of May is not great for me. The rest of May is okay. May. Okay. Last week of May. What did you say you get out of there? Um, I get out on the 24th, but I have this appointment in mercy than the fall. But I mean, if it happens to be like on a day like on a week of May, then it's okay. But, but also my kids are scheduled like on Saturday the fifth to take a mystery event. I don't even know what that means. I don't know how long that's gonna take, but it, it's something I have to do that probably. Um, oh, for reference, the last one of these we did was five hours, I think. About five hours. Um so you know, like a full afternoon or like an evening or something. So yeah. that's... Should we set up a doodle for me for the main weekend. Oh yeah, let's set up a doodle. We haven't yeah. used it for a while. Um, yeah, and I'll throw out some different, some different yes, yeah, so, uh, the sign on one, but that sounds good. good. Awesome. Um, okay, so 
those were all my big agenda items. Um, is there any other business anyone would like to bring up? Melissa, what's up? I would just like to invite other people to start seeing all the headlines uh, that say AI as Al, because Al brought this up to me today and it's really been cracking me up and it's brought me a lot of joy. So, <laughs> so um, next time you see a big headline that says AI is going to ruin our life, just think about Al. <laughs> I'm not going to be not able to do that now. It's like going to be, you know, in there. Um, Perfect. <laughs> I have a gossip question that's not, you know, pertinent, but I was wondering if anyone had heard anything about the sort of downsizing at any PM of their sort of, you know, TV staff or like, had any sense of what was going on down there beyond what was in the headlines? Not beyond what's in the headlines. I mean, there, the radio side of NPM made more money than the, than the TV side. That's why they bought them or it became kind of the bigger partner in that. Most of the production staff has been laid off. Um, they just finished a renovation of the building, cost many millions of dollars. So it's, Kind of upsetting that a brand new space filled with a lot of new equipment couldn't afford to keep staff on. It's very, it's, 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 it's saddening, I will say, from my perspective. And uh, I don't know if it's a culture of not incorporating the visual side into their plan or if it's, you know, I don't know what their books are, are like aside from what's been reported them and just left them on a good list. They're based on both news. No, well, they laid off basically most of the staff at WGBY in Springfield. They're the WGBH is in Boston. WGBY is in Springfield. WGBH has controlled the accounting for WGBY for some years. So that's another interesting relationship is that they didn't sort of didn't have control of their own books. And so uh, that's maybe part of it as well. Um, and like so, New England Public Radio merged with these groups and became New England Public Media. But really, NEPR was was sort of the the more powerful part in this in the relationship. The radio has done better. Cheaper to make, yeah, and just not competing with it. It's not competing with as much noise. I don't think in a certain way. Um, so. For whatever reason, but um, yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of production people who lost their jobs. Yeah, it was super upsetting to see, and you know, they I was surprised they killed Connecting Point altogether. I mean, they really just sort of ended a lot of the local capacity. So yeah, I thought that was pretty depressing. Um, and like the books, like everything was reported financially, you couldn't make heads nor tails of what was you know was driving it. So it was just yeah, just awful. Um, yeah. Yeah, maybe it accentuates the importance of someone like us to move forward. Al, how is um the new staff member, uh, you know, doing and transitioning in? The new staff member is doing great. Um, Devin is now going by Isley, um, so Isley Mansion, and um, has been doing great work, really learning very quickly. Um, one of our big, you know, areas of concern in that position is always picking up the programming side of things, which is very like, it's, it's the more boring work, it's very detail oriented, and um, Isley's done a really great job of managing that. Okay, we just wrap it up before me. Yeah. It's like two minutes, we'll be done.
So you could probably start writing that. Yes. Yeah, it's very heavy. <laughs> this is Kelly from the North Hampton Center for the Arts, one of the building partners. You can pull that server off and put it on the chair. I just I didn't that's why I didn't <laughs> Uh, okay, so new play working out well. New play is doing great. Picking up everything. Yeah. Good. Great for you. Uh, all right. Well, um, now that we've had a uh, nicer note. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, we're going to have to end on the <laughs> really down note. Um, uh, yeah, can I get a motion to adjourn the meeting? Motion to adjourn. Get motions to adjourn. Second. <laughs> no <laughs> second. All right. Um, all those in favor, raise your hand or say aye. 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 And I just want to thank thank Nam for all of the ton the tons and tons of hours of work for the school committee recently. It's like so appreciated, and you do such a great job. So thank you. It's been a lot. Thank you very much, and uh, it's been a lot for you as well. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll see everybody next month. Bye, everybody. Hi. 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 Hi.